Hello everybody. Welcome to our Icon Scout channel. This is Nishi here and I'm so glad that all of you have joined us here today. Today, I'm going to introduce you to unicorns from Icon Scout and how you can use them. Let us navigate to the unicorns page by clicking on explore and choosing unicorns. Icon Scout has over 4500 icon fonts and SVG icons with unicorns and all these in different styles like line, monochrome, solid and thin line. Now there are multiple ways of using these depending on your specific use cases. If you want to look for a specific unicorn, just choose whichever style you want from here and type in whatever you're looking for. On the left, you can see that there are multiple categories to filter from. We can even change the colors from clicking on the icon here. You can navigate and view different styles from here as well. In these three styles of monochrome, solid and thin line, we have premium as well as free unicorns. While the line icons are all free. Now let's have a look at how we can implement these. For that, let's go back to the unicorns page and scroll all the way down. Here, in the FAQ section, let us click on how to use section and navigate to this link. This has a detailed guide of different ways of using and implementing unicorns. Now let's have a look at few of these use cases. As a developer, you can use them with Vue, React or React Native. You can also use them as icon fonts or as SVGs too. As a designer, you can use it with Figma. There is an icon sort plugin which allows you to use them directly with Figma. Let us have a look at how you can use them with CSS. Let's go back to the unicorns page. Keeping the line style selected, all you have to do is simply copy this code from here and paste it in the head section of your HTML. Once that's done, you could add the icon you like in your body section and then just stylize and customize it according to your use case. Let's look at a quick demo. Now let us open our code sandbox. Uh, we have one prepared here already. It's just basic HTML. Now let's head back and quickly copy our code from the unicorns page and paste it in our head element over here. Now our unicorn CSS is available over here for us to use. Now all we have to do is just pick an icon we like from the line style here. Um, for example, let us choose the Android icon. And in order to use it as a font CSS, just copy the snippet from here. And now just paste it anywhere in the body tag. And that's it. Here's our Android icon. Now let us see how we can incorporate the other styles into the CSS. Let's go back to our unicorns page and choose a solid style this time. Let's repeat the same steps we did last time. Just copy and paste the code in the head section. Now we have the solid style available too. Now let's go back and pick an icon we like from the solid style library. Now copy the snippet from here and add it in the body tag. Let's save and refresh to view our icon. And there you go. Now let's try and customize this. For that, let me just add style, um, color and maybe we can just change its color to red. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Now that we've already seen how to incorporate the line and the solid style, it's the exact same steps to incorporate the thin line icons too. However, for the monochrome icons, there is a small difference. Over here, we have a script instead of the CSS. The steps are quite similar. Only this time, we are going to paste this script inside the body tag instead of the head tag. Once the style is available, we follow the same steps as before. Let's go back to our page and choose an icon we like from the monochrome style. And just copy the code from here and just paste it in here. Now once again, let's just save and refresh. And there it is. This is how you can use your unicorns with CSS and scripts. 
In order to use this as an SVG, it's pretty simple and straightforward. All you have to do is choose whichever style you want and pick an icon you like. From here, we can change its colors and just hit SVG under the download section. And that's pretty much it. The next thing that we can look at is how we can use this as a font. To download it as a font, let's go back to our landing screen. With the style selected on top, let's just click on the icon font button over here and download the TTF file. Once that's done, just install the font. To test this out, let's open our Figma app. Open a new file and maybe just type out some text over here. Now, in order to insert a unicorn, let us go to our explore page and choose an icon that we like. Say I want to go with this one over here. Now all we have to do is just copy this unicode over here and paste it in the text box. But as you can see, nothing really has changed. To fix that, let's just change the font over here to unicorn's line. And that's it. You can repeat the same process for all the other styles as well. Just choose the style, download and install the font and simply start using it. Just make sure that you change the font over here so you can add the new style icons to your design file. Now that we've covered the first three ways of using unicorns, let us proceed to how we can implement them using libraries and frameworks. We can start with creating it with a simple Vue.js application. We already have our code sandbox ready for that. We have a Vue.js application right here and here is our text. Let's just quickly convert this to H1. Now in order to add our line icons here, let's go back to our documentation page. As we can see, for our monochrome style, we have the React package available. For our solid style, we have both React and the Vue.js package available. And for the line style, we have all three, React, Vue.js and the React Native package available. Now let's go back and view the Vue.js package for the line style icons. This is the GitHub repository. You can copy this and paste this in your terminal to install these icons. But for now, in our case, all we need to do is just copy this part over here. Now let's head back to our code. In the dependencies section here, just click on this icon and paste it over here in the search box. Let's just choose this option over here and say add dependency. Our unicorn package for Vue is now installed. Now to use them as components, let's navigate to our explore page and choose an icon we like. Navigate to the Vue tab from here. As you can see, we have the Vue and the React tabs over here. For React and React Native, the syntax is going to be the same. In our case, let's just go to view and copy this code from here and just paste it over here. Since it's a view component, let's first register it. Once that's done, let's use this component in the template. And that's it. In order to add the solid unicorns library, we have to repeat the same steps. Navigate to the documentations page, choose the link to solid style, copy this part here and add a dependency in the code sandbox. Once the installation is done, let's pick an icon we like, copy the view syntax and paste it to import. We will have to quickly register this as well. Now we can once again copy paste the component over here to implement the icon. To implement the unicorns into React and React Native, we will have to follow the exact same steps. Just copy the snippet from here instead of the view tab. We can follow the same steps for any of the other styles as well. Now that we've covered all of these, let us proceed to implementing them using NPM. 
If you want to use your unicorns as a SVG file and not download it one by one, we have ready npm packages available that we can install and use in our projects. All you have to do is just copy this whole code and paste it in here in your code sandbox to install the package. Once that's done, let's add the image source and specify the width. I think this should be okay. To add the source, instead of adding the URL, we will generate it from the syntax over here. Under the required section, we will have to add in the path. For that, let us navigate to our documentation page and just copy this path from here. And now let's just paste it in here. This is pretty straightforward. As you can see, this is for our SVG files and you can also see the style over here as well. Okay, perfect. This is now ready for us to use. Now let's just paste this and link it in here with our image. And there you go. Here's the Facebook icon that we just imported. Now let's go back and try out another one. Maybe let's use the Bitcoin one over here. So let's just copy this and replace it over here. And here's our Bitcoin line icon. Now let us pick one more from the monochrome. And let's just change the name over here. And there you go. It works. All the line style icons are free to use. In monochrome, solid and thin line, we can see that there are some unicorns that are free while the others are premium. To use the premium icons, please subscribe to any of the Icon Scout plans. Now let us see how we can use premium icons using CSS once we've subscribed. Now let's navigate to the monochrome icons since there are some premium icons in there. We can see that there is a key in here in the URL itself. We can replace this URL with the key in our code and we can get access to all the premium icons. The same goes for solid and thin line icons as well. To use the unicorns with React, React Native, Vue.js or the npm package, we will have to create a file .npmrc in our root directory or wherever our package.json file is saved. We will have to create the file and paste this code over there. And this text here will be replaced by our unicorn npm token. To receive the npm token, we will have to shoot an email to the Icon Scout team and we will get our access tokens instantaneously. But please make sure that you collect and add the token before you install the package. And that's all. We've covered all the ways in which we can use our Icon Scout unicorns. Really hope that this was helpful. Please mention below if you have any questions and we will do our best to answer all of them. This is Nishi signing off. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day ahead.